Why would Jesus be God? Does he go around saying he is God? Where does he ever say, I am God? Uh, the answer is very clear at his trial. He says, I'm God? No, the worst that was accused of him was he was claiming to be the son of God. We know that. He didn't say, I'm God, did he? He said, and he said that he, he admitted he's the son of God, and you will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven, see at the right hand of God. The he's God means to the God? You're telling me that son of God means God. Why at Fuller Seminary? Uh, evangelical exponent there, Colin Brown, he said to be son of God in the Bible means you're not God. Adam well, was the son of God. Well, sir, there again goes into context because he's where Jesus is alluding to Daniel 7, 13, where yes. uh, Kevar Enash, like a son of man, riding the clouds. It's, yeah. the, it's the cloud rider language that is divine language. I see. And it's very clear because even Heiser and others point out uh, Canaanite beliefs held to the same view with Baal. Baal writes clouds. Uh, basically, Yahweh writes clouds when you read Psalms. And basically, that's divine language. Son of man then means God. Is that it? Uh, son of man in that context of Daniel 7, 13. Uh, means God. Means, it means that the son of man is divine, in essence, God. Not God as in two distinct gods. Uh, I don't know if that's what you were thinking. You must be clear for me. You're saying that son of man means God. Don't use the word divine. It's a hopelessly foggy word today. Are you telling me that the phrase son of man means Yahweh, means God? It means Yahweh uh, in the same nature and essence. Basically, you have binatarian language in regards because following Dennis M13, you have thrones in the plural and the Aramaic. So you got a binatarian uh, concept already there. Well, of course you have thrones because the saints are there too, sitting on thrones. But you know, so many people would disagree with that. At least the Unitarian must defend himself and say, what you're proposing here is simply amazing, that son of man, which is the worst that Jesus was accused of being, son of God, certainly, he was not accused of being God. If he was in one occasion of being like God, he immediately refuted that and said, no, I called myself the son of God. There's a vast distinction. So I don't understand this two Yahweh thing at all. And so do most Trinitarians also not understand that. 